Hey, before we get into your boxing career, first, let's talk about your life story. You got a very <laughs> interesting life story. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You were sir. born in Jamaica. Yes, sir. Now, please tell me exactly, how did you get from Jamaica to here? Um, my dad and my uncle, um, you know, sent from, my dad was here from back in the 80s. Mm -hmm. And um, they fought for my sister, both my sisters. I have a big family, by the way. <laughs> and uh, like, Jamaicans normally have a lot of <laughs> big families, right? <laughs> That and a lot of jobs. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of jobs. So I would assume you're not only a boxer. That's what right now, yeah. Okay, but I have some wow. Ideas in my head that I'm working on uh, too. Exactly, yes, yes. which makes you a true Jamaican. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, so um, you have a big family. Yes, sir. All right, and your your father sent for you all. I had, you know, I came here when I was 13. 13. And, um, yeah, I went to school you know, in St. Petersburg, St. Petersburg High School. I was all American football player. Um, you know, things didn't work out with me and my dad. Um, he ended up kicking me out, and I ended up was on the street for a while, <clears throat> staying in a dumpster for a while, you know, and then this lady, this great lady, I used to, I used to um, cut lawns, you know, and this okay. lady, Daphne Morrison, I used to cut her lawn, and she took me in, you know, for a couple of years, so she sheltered me until, you know, I was able to go out on my own. So, you know, thank God for her, because she was my angel. <laughs> So you don't communicate with your father at all anymore? Yeah, I do. I do. Um, it was, I think it was probably about 2004, uh, I was down in Palm Beach getting ready for the Golden Gloves. Okay. And, uh, you know, his birthday was coming up, and it was like a weight on my shoulder. My aunt always said, you know, forgive him. So I picked up the phone, and I called him. I was like, you know, I'm a grown man now. You know, at the time, I think I was 18, and I was like, you know, I'm a man now. You know, I forgive you. And, you know, it felt like a weight lifted off my shoulder. But no, the relationship me and him is good. Thank That's God. really good. That's really good. That's really good. So in Jamaica, did you grow up in a poverty-stricken area? Yes, yeah, it was rough. Um, my, um, my mom, a one-bedroom, with six of us. Me and, you know, my mom, my five brothers, and my little sister. You know, it was rough. I miss them dearly. Hi, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Do you go back to Jamaica often? Um, I'm trying to go back this year. Take some time off. I have a daughter now, so she been dying to meet her, you wow. know, meet her, her first grandchild, you know. So. Have you been back since? Yes, I've been back. Um, back in 2000 when my grandma passed away. Oh, okay. So I've been Sorry back. I haven't been back since then, though. So when did you make this transition into your uh, boxing career? When did you find out you wanted to be a boxer? I was turning 14. I saw Evander Holyfield and uh, Lennox Lewis fought. Um, the fight was in Madison Square Garden. Which fight? Garden. Uh, the first one. The first one. The first they one, fought correct. like 15 times. <laughs> it's the first one. Okay. And uh, I decided that it's something I want to do, but I didn't go to the gym until I was like 17 years old. Mm -hmm. And I met uh, Birmingham, Mike Birmingham, which is a great trainer, that Birmingham brother. And um, ever since then, you know, it was an ironic story. I never took a bus a day in my life. Um, I just got up and decided that. I, I've been asking my dad to take me to the gym, and he never took me to the gym. So I just got up and um, got on the bus. I asked the bus driver what buses to take, and you know, they direct me. And I got off in uh, Fifth Avenue, and I was walking about a mile down. I got off too early. <laughs> and uh, I asked a gentleman, where's the St. Pete Boxing Club? And he pointed me in the direction, and he was like, good luck, son. And ever since I got to the gym, I never turned back. Never turned oh. back. So. Oh, wow. <laughs> now, even through your boxing career, you had some, um, some hardships. You had yes. an illness, so yes. an illness that probably, that could have stopped you from ever boxing. Yes, it's, uh, that's another story. That's why I know I'm here for a reason. Wow. Uh, two years ago, um, my thyroid acted up. And a lot of people know what a thyroid is. Something is in your throat and it control your hormone system, you know. And it got me down to 190 pounds, believe it or not. This is my natural weight now. And, uh, you know, I got sick, and everybody turned their back on me, man. Um, you know, even close people, people who staying with start spreading rumors, oh, I have AIDS, I'm doing drugs, I have cancer. But, you know, true friends always be there. Um, I have a friend of mine. Uh, yes, yes. I have two friends of mine that are in Houston, uh, Chet Kerner, who is now my promoter, and a friend of mine, Tran, uh, Twan Tran. Um, they was calling me and nobody could get a hold of me because I just went into a hole and I was just so depressed, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, they came down, they took me to the doctor, and, um, you know, Dr. Weiss, 
It was another miracle in my life, believe it or not, the way that guy helped me, you know. They took me to his office and, you know, he, made, he immediately sent me to the emergency room. And when I got there, I passed out. I was so weak and so dehydrated, you mm -hmm. know. And the doctors told me I would never fight again because thyroid was, you know, was so bad. Uh, enlarged my heart, um, you know, made me lost a lot of weight. Um, I was, you know, a month away from becoming sickle cell because it ate up all my blood, you know, my natural blood cell, but never, never decided in my mind that I'm gonna quit, you know, keep on fighting. And, you know, I took over 300 different medication in less than a year, mm. um, oh. which was crazy, you know, but thank God, you know, okay. I made it okay. through that. And it was so ironic that, you know, I stopped taking the medication on my own. Okay. And I went back to the doctor, like about three weeks later, and was like, Mr. Thomas, I need to stop you from taking this medication. I said, Doc, I prayed about it, and I stopped taking the medication. It was like, really? <laughs> I was like, yeah. Wow. You know what I mean? so, wow. Wow. You know what I mean? Well, real quick, we're running low on time. They call you the heavyweight savior. What's that all about? That's a name that was given to me from what I came through and Good. with my skill in a short period. You know, I didn't have a long amateur career, uh -huh. you know, but the way I developed the game, you know, I fall in love with the game and I excel the game, you know, and everybody was like, you know, you something special. And, you know, it's truly blessing. So of you're God. the chosen one to save boxing. Amen. There it is. Hey. Amen. <laughs> so you lost, real quick, you lost your first fight, yes. but you've been undefeated ever since. Ever since then. So you're about like 11 and 1, 12? No, no, no. The Dome Box Rex got it all wrong. Actually, I'm 15 and 1. 15 and 1. Right. Nice. 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 Listen, listen, listen. You know, I really appreciate you being on the show here today. Oh, I appreciate and I want to see you succeed. Me. I want to see if you save boxing. Okay? <laughs> and, and what a lot of people don't know is that I used to box a little bit back in my day. <laughs> you know, I'm from Brooklyn, New York. You know, 1452 okay, Cowell okay. Street. Hey. All right? So I used to box a little bit back in my day, and I'd like to give you some pointers. Is that all right with you? Hey. Okay. I'm a student of the game. That's what I'm talking on, about. We're going to take got. a quick break, and when we come back, we're going to give TNT some pointers. You know, give him a little pointers to share so we can make it to the top. Can I take it to the bridge? Yeah. Hit me!